hello everyone welcome back to my youtube channel in this video we are going to see sitecore layouts let's begin so what are sitecore layouts layouts are scaffolding for the web pages layout defines structure for our page it provides the outermost html structure for the page uh, there can be only one layout for one page we can apply those layouts in the form of web forms that is .espx file and mvcs.cshtml file comprises of layout definition item and aspx page web form or cshtml file so let's practically work on the layout to get more idea on it currently i am in draw.io tool so here if you see we have page and components okay so what layout basically do is it will divide the page into certain sections like header main and footer based on our requirement based on our use we can place the components in this sections or we can say in this placeholders so for example if i have this component i can place it here in the header part I can place this component in the main part and purple component i can place it in the footer part also if i require to change the placement of this yellow and purple component what I, I can easily switch that so layout what basically does is it will divide the page into subsections and based on our requirements we can place our components as per our need so let me go to the content editor and let's see that in action i am in content editor now let me go to the layout layouts and here i will create new layout insert layout i will name it as base layout here we need to specify the path for the layout that is the path of cshtml file i will specify here as views slash base layout dot cshtml click on save i will just rearrange this okay so for now we have created this base layout now what we need to do is whatever the contents that we have we need to change that layout from the existing layout that is sample layout or base layout so we will go we need to go click on we need to click on this item home presentation details click on edit if you see layout sample layout is selected click on this and instead of sample layout we need to select base layout click on okay okay and then save also what code would be present in that cshtml file let me switch to notepad plus plus and i will demonstrate that code there i am in notepad plus plus now so this will be the code that would be present in the view base layout.chhtml view so this is standard html part yeah these are the placeholders so we'll be having three place generally we'll be having these three placeholders header main and footer and based on our need we can add uh, those renderings or the components to this placeholder so generally for the header we'll be having the nav bar present in the main placeholder we'll be adding the components as per our need for example teaser component or any other components that we require and for footer we will be having the footer part so yeah so based on our need we can basically specify those based on our need we will specify where to place which component and accordingly those components will be placed also the orders here matters okay so if we add two components we if we add same placeholder for two components component which is placed place first will be present at the top and component which is placed second which will be the present at the bottom so that's it from the demo part let me switch back to slides 
references so these are the references that i have used i will add those in description section that's it from this video thank you for watching